Yes, my big boy. Yes, my big boy. Sit. Yes, my big boy. Okay. All right, what we're going to do here in this video recording is uh, we have awesome names for the puppies, and I am going to show this to you so you get a proper spelling of the names and how to pronounce them. Let's try to get this in the light so let's see them. First one, this one here. That is Hona. Hona, which is H O N A W, and the meaning of it in Hopi. Indian means bear. So this one here is Hona. Hona is one of the larger puppies and has multicolored eyes. They are mixed, interestingly enough. They are like a brown and gray or a dark grayish and the typical husky like ice blue and interestingly enough like halfway through the eyeballs they change color so each individual eyeball is multicolored and this here is our king kitty kitty ran ran he's the ran ran and loves the puppies. Here's Hona. And Hona. Puppies and the kitties. I'm kind of getting along, huh? They really get along, don't they? Probably can't really see the multicolor in the eyeballs. But we're going to do our best with this recording. Okay. Now, let's go to... Here, this one is a peppered, and his name Shyla. It's Shyla, and they're learning their names pretty quick, actually. Shyla's got some peppering going on and some shepherd colors going on. Yeah, oh. Shyla. Isla has the brown eyes. Brown eyes. Okay, now we go to the list here and look at Shyla. S H I L A H. And in Navajo Indian, the meaning of it is brother. This one here. Huh, oh, Shyla? Huh, oh, Shyla? Hmm? Shyla? Playful home. Oh. You know, that was 
kitty cats and everything. And Ren, kitty kitty loves puppies. Shyla's laying down beside his sister. His sister here is Isel. Isel is spelled I Z E L. And that is, how do you pronounce that tribe? Nawa. Is the Nawa tribe. Nawa is spelled N A H U A T L. And in the Nawa tribe, Isel means unique. They are of the Nawa people. That is his yell. Okay, now let's wake his L up so you guys can see her beautiful ice blue eyes. Oh, look how pretty you are, Rizel. Look at you, huh? Oh. Everybody wants a zero, huh? Yeah, they do. Gazelle is really picking up her name quick. All of these puppies are really learning so quick. And they are all already the puppy pad trained. We have a back room. We're, we're currently here in the dining room area and living room area. And all the way back there, down the hallway and to the left, there is a back bedroom. Their puppy pads are all the way back there in that back bedroom. And for the most part, they're, they're young, but for the most part, they take it upon themselves to walk all the way back there and go do their thing on the puppy pads and then they come running and trotting back out to come play some more. So they're really, really smart puppies. They're learning so quick. Okay, now, let's go to the one who most looks like Mommy. Oh, I know. Don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. I was laying beside Mommy. Eyes. And then this one here, who looks most like Sook. He's my Sook. The Sook is the mommy, huh? She's a loving mommy. And this one here is Kichi. Oh, I know, Ran. I know. This is Kichi. And Kichi. is spelled K-I-C-H-I and it is of the Algonquin tribe. Algonquin is spelled A-L-G-O-N-Q I-U-A-N and in Algonquin, Algonquin Kichi means brave and great spirit. And that is Kichi. She's got some peppering on her with the, the white and the black, and she looks most like a husky. Him, I'm sorry, him. That's the boy. That's a boy. Please forgive me for that. That's a boy. And Kichi is a boy. Okay, okay. Now, let's go to our next. which I like to call Big Black. Look at Big Black. Big Black has a dark gray or dark brown eyeball and then has 
the left. Ice blue. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh. Yeah, oh. And our big black boy here has some brown on all four of his bottom feet and just a wee bit on his chest but it's so unique and so beautiful all black with just this little bit of brownish on his bottom feet and a little bit of white on the bottom and look at him, he's a big fuzzy one okay, now he is Chimali how that's pronounced. Chimali. You spell Chimali. C-H-I-M-A-L-L-I. And in Aztec, the Aztec people, the Nahua people, Aztec tribe, Chimali means shield. Because he's such a big boy, he's a big shield. He's going to be a big boy. And that's Five of the other puppy's ears are standing up. But Chamali, Chamali's leaving his ears hanging for right now. And they may stay that way, they may not. Yeah. Look at Chamali. Is that my Chamali? That's my Chimali, huh? Oh. big pretty boy, huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, Azel. Oh, you're hey, pretty good. And this is Chimali. Okay. On to our blondie. On to the blondie. Our blondie's got a little bit of white right, right here, some white, and all this blonde. She's blonde and white. Blondie here. Her name is Tawa. Tawa is spelled T A W A. And that's Hopi Indian. And in the Hopi people, Hopi Indian, Tawa means the sun spirit, the creator. That's what Tawa is, huh? He's a sun spirit, huh? Oh, yes, I am. They all love this. They absolutely love getting their chest rubs. They absolutely love it. Okay. So let's just do a recap, shall we? We have Tawa. Have Tawa, Tawa, of the Hopi Indian, means Sun Spirit, the Creator. And then we have Izel, the girl. Tawa is a girl, and Izel is a girl. The other four are boys, and Izel in the Na Nawa, the Nawa tribe for the Nawa people Izel means unique we gave her that name because of the ice blue eyes and how she kind of has the shepherd and the ice blue husky eyes and the peppering okay. now this
this one. Here's the boy. And that boy is Kichi. And Kichi of the Algonquin tribe means brave and great spirit. And he is fearless. And looks so much like Mommy. Oh, so much like Mommy. He's a Yuchi. Oh, that's my big boy. He's such a big boy. Oh, this is what you got, big boy. Oh, I know you happy puppy. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're such a good daddy. Okay, and here's another boy. And this boy is Shyla. Shyla of the Navajo. Shyla means brother. He also has the pepper in And looks like he has some of that German Shepherd in him. And peppering in a really pretty, really pretty. Okay, now let's get back to Chimali. Chimali, uh, the big black one. Got some brown on his feet. A little bit of white on his chest, but look at these feet. They're all brown. He's got little toeless socks on. Oh. With the dark gray or dark brown eye and the ice blue eye. He's a big boy. And now, go back over here. To Hona. And Hona's a big boy. Has a lot of husky coloring to him. He's a big boy. Oh. He's just such a lover. Oh, it looks like he's got some like brownish or pinkish or something on his face, which is like natural coloring. I think it's some of Yochi's brown coming in here, but he takes a lot of husky, and you just such a big boy, oh, you just such a lover, and that one is Hona, and Hona in the Hopi Indian means bear, you're a big bear, oh yeah, I'm a big level bear, I'm a big loving bear, oh yeah, yeah. oh she yeah. oh I look at that, I love it, I love being touched. I'm just such a big bear. Yeah. Hey, Daddy's being so good. Look at you. She's being such a big boy. Okay. And that's our happy little family. Look at them all. Oh. If you're curious why mommy's all wrapped up, it's because they are weaning. They are now eating puppy food on their own. But they, they still, you know, instinctively want to nurse, but she needs to dry up and get out of that stage now. So she's got her PJs on. <laughs> Just stop that from happening, huh? And they all run around and they're learning how to really catch up their speed. One of the really cool things that we have noticed that they are picking up from mommy and daddy is when you have a really good breed, a really strong, I don't want to say or be quoted AKC because they aren't AKC. We don't know who, you know, past generations are past two previous generations. We can't go farther back past two previous generations, but um, Soka and Yochi's parents, after they use the bathroom outside, they love to do the kick thing with it. They kick the grass with their feet and scrape it and kick it away after they use the bathroom, which is a, a, a really really powerful traits and uh, funny enough 
the puppies are picking that up as young as they are. It is the cutest thing ever to watch them do the kick thing after they use the potty. It's so funny. It is just the funniest thing ever. And they love to talk. They're learning their voice, and they all are using their voice. So they like to practice with howling. They're picking up howling, and they like to bark, bark. And uh, we're going to cut video off here because Ren says, I want to be recorded. I want to be recorded too because I'm King Kitty. Oh, yes, I am. I'm King Kitty. Yeah. Well, this video here is about puppies. Okay, guys, we're going to cut this and I'm going to get an overall of all six and mommy and daddy and there you go alright thank you YouTube guys and uh, puppies will be available for sale as soon as uh, they are legally able to be sold and that is about two weeks from now according to Florida we are in southwest Florida closest area here to this uh, immediate area where our house is is most people are aware of Cape Coral and Fort Myers that kind of area we are exactly here Lehigh Acres zip code 33971 all right thank you guys so much for YouTube and uh, we'll talk to you soon